Hi there! Were you able to solve this primary 5 math problem sum on fractions? If you are curious to know how to do it, or if you want to see whether there's another way to do it besides your method, watch on to find out. Let's read this question together, okay? Caden and Jaden had a total of $784. After Caden spent one sixth of his money on food, and Jaden spent $124 on toys, they had the same amount of money left. And we are asked to find the amount of money that Kaden had at first. Alright? After reading the question, what do we know? Well, we know that there are two people involved, correct? Kaden and Jaden. And we also know that the item that we are looking at is the amount of money, correct? So, to sum up this question, both of them started with some money. We don't know how much each of them had. But what we do know is how much of their money they spent. Okay, so Kaden spent one six, and and Jaden spent hundred and twenty four dollars, and that they ended up with the same amount of money. So we can think of this question as a before and after comparison. Okay, comparing how much they had before they spent their money, and how much they had after they spent their money. So how would you start solving this problem sum? Since a fraction is involved, I would suggest drawing the model to help us see what is going on. We have two choices, alright? The first choice is to work from the front okay, to the back, and the other choice would be to work from the back to the front. But in this case, since we have no idea how much Caden and Jaden each had in the beginning, it would be very hard to draw the length of the model if we were to work from the front, correct? So an easier way would be to work backwards. Since we know that they ended up with the same amount. Now, we know that in the end, both Caden and Jaden had the same amount of money left. Correct? So that's why, when we draw the comparison model, the length of both bars must be the same. Okay? Now, let's try to get back the amount of money that both of them had at the start before spending their money. Okay? So, from the question, we know that Caden spent one sixth of his money on food. So what this means is that Caden spent one unit out of a total of six units of his money on food. So the amount of money that Caden was left with over here must be five units. Correct? Next, since we know that the amount that Caden was left with is the same as the amount that Jaden was left with, it would mean that Jaden would also have 5 units left after spending his money. So far so good? But what is the amount of money that Jaden had before he was left with these 5 units? Remember that he spent $124, okay? So we need to add this $124 back into his model. So let's put it here. This will be the original amount of money that Jaden had. So see how we have put together all the clues that is given to us in the question? Okay, in order to draw the model. Now it's time to add in the last piece of missing information. What else have we not used yet? Ah, remember? We still have this 784 over here. Okay, so we know that this is the total amount of money that Jaden and Caden started with. So this would mean that everything we see in the model will add up to give us 784. Now that we have completed the model, we can easily use this to help us solve the question. Okay, remember that the question is asking us to find the amount of money that Caden had at first. So Caden started off with 6 units over here. So in order to find the value of 6 units, we would first need to find what is the value of 1 unit. How can the model help us? Okay, we know that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 units plus 124 would give us a total of 784. So from this equation, we are able to find what's the value of 11 units. Okay, We do that by taking 784 minus 124, and this gives us 660. How can we find the value of 1 unit? We take 660 divided by 11, and this gives us $60. And now that we know the value of 1 unit, we can multiply this by 6 to find the value of 6 units and this would give us our answer of 360.
questions solved. Thank you for watching and we hope this video helped.